Have you seen the unsettling 1930s stop motion short starring creepy dolls called Dolly, Daisy and Hearts and Flowers? Behind this bizarre, obscure animation lies a dark secret. The original film had a now lost soundtrack, leaving an extra eerie artifact. What don't we know about this early experiment in distortion? Dolly Daisy in Hearts and Flowers unveils a strange romantic triangle between unsettling doll protagonists. We're introduced to heroine Daisy, residing innocuously inside a miniature house. But Daisy's not alone. Two male suitors peer inside, entranced by her silhouette, disrobing visibly through a lit bedroom window. These shady voyeurs become immediately smitten, scheming to make the oblivious Daisy their special sweetheart. But how will they woo this accidental flasher? First arriving is Sailor Jack, a leering marionette with a toothy grin and nautical cap. Clutching a bouquet, he eagerly stumbles into frame, attempting to court his accidental obsession. But Jack has rivalry. Devious businessman Fred also ogles Daisy through his monocle, slyly sketching plans to possess this arbitrary object of desire. Soon Jack returns, aggressively leering through Daisy's keyhole for an encore of the sight that spellbound him. Caught in adolescent reverie, he repeatedly knocks down an elderly woman behind him before nonchalantly moving on. Not one for subtlety, Fred purchases a fishing rod to literally hook and ensnare his darling Daisy. But instead, he ensnares a random black fisherman, violently dunking the stranger underwater. The suitor's debauched antics clash against the film's childlike aesthetics. As their limp corpses jolt through each tasteless gag, the pedestrian prejudice and non-consensual lust becomes distinctly uncomfortable viewing. Ultimately, the suitors wind up clutching at nothing, their plaything lost. For Daisy mysteriously ascends atop a crescent moon. Has she escaped their unwanted overtures? Or is our heroine now just a doll eternally wandering amidst the stars? Her exact fate unclear as her frustrated suitor shake fists below. But we know this likely wasn't the last we'll see of Dolly Daisy. Shockingly, this supremely creepy doll romp was released by Warner Brothers through their Vitaphone short film series, no less. Uh, Vitaphone focused on synchronizing sound to film, so Dolly Daisy originally had an accompanying soundtrack, but it was lost long ago, leaving the footage eerily silent. Most versions floating online have unrelated music added back in, but the randomness only makes things spookier. Were the original hijinks as twisted as the visuals? The creative force was director Howard S. Moss, pioneer of early stop-motion puppet films. Moss tirelessly experimented with his intricate dolls, animating their haunted eyes. Much of his avant-garde work never reached the mainstream, now lost to oblivion. Film history has gaps where his eldritch visions would be. In fact, there's questions around the 1930 release date. Evidence suggests Warner may have simply repackaged older footage from the 1910s. Might the crude aesthetics imply an earlier, primordial origin? Note the distinct Muggsy Sailor, matching Moss's 1917 Cracked Ice puppet. Apparently, Moss cherished his handcrafted cast, recycling characters into new haunting scenarios. Were the dolls immortal spirits, driven to perform no matter what, as if possessed to entrance young minds? But the doll's origins are uncertain. The suitors resemble silent stars, while leading Lady Daisy is a mystery. With identities obscured by time, what tales lurk behind those painted faces? What secrets within their lifeless bodies reanimated decade after decade? How little we know about these uncanny people dragged through repetitions in Moss's catalogue. Were they based on celebrities acting out symbolic stories? Or did the dolls have deeper meaning, exploring ideas of identity, gender, and power dynamics through endless experimentation? Were they primordial avatars in an obscure auteur's existential inquiry? And if so, what emerged from their convoluted stories? We can only guess at the convoluted lore locked inside this haunted doll multiverse. Their undead resurrection hints at lost layers of artistic meaning. At least the internet restored Dolly Daisy to renew interest in its bizarre aesthetic. But divorced from context, the full scope is still obscure. We see only faint echoes of some ambitious vision that probed humanity's interior by manipulating exterior symbols. But clearly, Moss dug deeper over his lost decades of doll shorts. What insights might his missing reels still reveal?
Alas, we must accept an eternity of uncertainty about these transient beings now returned to the void. With their faded origins obscured in time, what other tales yet lurk behind those painted faces? What other dreams might Hollywood's haunted dolls whisper? Despite bearing the Warner Brothers name, Dolly Daisy swiftly vanished into obscurity, only to be recently unearthed by internet researchers fascinated with peculiar cult artifacts. Indeed, the short's supreme mystery and lack of context make it even more spine-tingling. It remains an undead cinematic phantom with no accompanying information to explain its bizarre visuals. This begs the question, how did such a creepy doll romp get birthed in old-timey Hollywood? We imagine vintage cinema as more saccharine and wholesome, hardly the nightmare doll love triangles on display here. Yet horror imagery had already ingressed into film by the late 1920s. German expressionist cinema was responding to wartime trauma using surreal settings and motifs. Stop motion also permitted unprecedented distortion of reality. Eastern European animators like Jan Svankmajer were utilizing this early trick technique to pioneer intensely dark experimentations. But Moss was clearly determined to go rogue, chasing eerie absurdity instead of typical Disney whimsy. He brought an uncanny existentialism to his dolls decades before CGI or Chucky made scary playthings common horror fare. Imagine if Walt Disney had died young only for Salvador Dali to seize control of the Disney Studios, unbound to manifest the laughing demons of his surrealist nightmares through celluloid. Yeah, perhaps we should have predicted Howard S. Moss slipping the leash to birth peculiar doll demons to the screen. If his catalogue hadn't largely dissolved, Moss's demented flair might be commonplace today. We've come to expect entertainment to channel our inner darkness and psychic schisms now. Indeed, all creepy media today likely descends from eccentric experiments like Dolly Daisy, vanished origin seeds that survive through memory fragments to bloom anew in fresh viral forms. But in 2023, the short's brazenly unhinged concept still baffles. Who observes cute dolls and thinks, Ah yes, let's force them into problematic love triangles rife with Freudian psychosexual trauma. Were the puppets themselves the true madmen, possessed by primeval spirits to enact symbolic debaucheries through hapless animators? Is this why Daisy ascends to the heavens like a liberated bride by the finale? Are the ghosts finally freed from their animation devices? We'll never truly know. The restored Dolly Daisy holds more eldritch mysteries than concrete answers, yet its cryptic allure persists. The doll's haunting histories may never fully come to light, but their allure persists. What other odd creatures are hiding in Hollywood's shadows? Let me know your eldritch theories down below. This has been your ghost host at Unexplained Studios. Smash that like button and subscribe if you dare to see more startling celluloid secrets.